Oh yeah. Oh no, I'd still be asleep probably. Oh, I don't know if I'd get up. <laughs> That's a lot of pain. I collect my hazy mind and move my lips. In this day, he's no match for a human. Any human. He is so wounded. I, I would look at it as, as just a pure, like, I'm going to weigh her down. I don't want her to worry. So I'd rather stay there. Fuck the church. No. I've already agreed to this war. I'm not giving up now that I got stabbed. I almost fainted at words. Wait, that's not my reasoning, but okay. I'm not letting you fight them alone. Oh, God. My vision turns red. I can't talk. Uh, just yelling makes my muscles cramp up and I almost die. それ皆さん。今までは聖バーの助けがあったけど、亡くなればそうなるのよ。いい、エミヤ君。人間は傷つけばしぬの。あなたのその傷だって本来なら致命傷なんだから。Normally. <laughs> you know normally when people get stabbed they fucking die. You should be dead. Oh, you know what they say. I'm not normal. Or I'm not people. Damn. I know that. I know, but it's so painful I can't speak. It it's always a problem. Well, I mean, if she kills a bunch of people, it would be my fault. It does concern me. All the more if Saber has helped me with the pain like this up until now. あんな奴のいいなりになんてさせられ。そう。けどあなたは無力よ。いいわ。あなたが認めようとしないのなら代わりに私が言ってあげる。今のあなたじゃセイバーを助けることなんてできない。My heat disappears. Her cold words freeze my boiling brain. Go home now. <laughs> I refuse to forfeit. That is the bitch way out. I am not a bitch. Fuck that. Tosaka turns and walks off. Oh, uh, bye. <laughs> Admits the blowing wind. Tosaka kicks the ground without any hesitation. I reach out frantically. Dick. There's no need for that. The nine red appears next to Tosaka as if protecting her. Even if she jumps up from this tight, she should be able to land without a problem if she has her servant. Tosaka's lips move slightly. I can't hear what she said, but her eyes. Oh no, probably I'm sorry. You'll die if you keep involving yourself. I oh, won't have the fucking things. I'd prefer a sorry, but okay. You know, I'm not gonna blame you still. You still saved me. No, you didn't actually. I, I saved you. Whatever. Coldly tell me so it's a, it's the last warning. Eh, I'll just go sleep. My heat returns. The heat and the pain make my mind go crazy. I cannot save Saber. And there's no reason for Emi Ashiro to fight. <laughs> My wound hurts. I look down at the night scenery that swallowed Tosaka and repeat those words in my head. I said, why did I come here again? <laughs> oh, interlude again. Goody. It is a quiet night. The wind blowing on the mountain is gentle and the rustling of the trees is as quiet as a whisper. There are no birds singing about winter nor are there beasts howling at the moon. The only path leading to the Ryoto Temple 
the long stone steps preserve its peacefulness tonight as well but others do not know this place has withstood five battles already each one was a great clash many servants challenged the rito temple berserker lancer rider saber archer this mountain gate is able to enjoy the darkness thanks to the monsters that has repelled all five enemies The long sword moves. It's fortunate that the moon is not out. The arc of the sword moving in a crescent moon shape is so beautiful that the moon would be ashamed of itself if it saw it. No. <laughs> I'll do what I want. Fuck you, bitch. He ignores the magus and purple caster. Assassin lowers his long sword and glances at the mountain of forest without interest. Please, Gilgamesh, show up. Please. Yeah. Yes, and I'm very upset that you killed my strange bird. So, Caster walks through the forest looking down at that thing on the ground. It is the corpse of an owl. It is a bird made from crystal. It is simple, but suited for spying. It must have been made by Archer's master. Oh no, that seems more of an Elia thing. Maybe you can still teach her if she's talented. I don't think she'd help anyways. She steps on it. The amethyst crystals are crushed to powder, scattering star-like dust. I'll get right on it. Since down starts smoking. Sate. しぬきでというのは難しいな。この小次郎生まれてこの方生きているという実感がない。勝つ。I <笑> いいこと。Oh, please. Please do it. Caster words are filled with enmity and contempt. For her, assassin is only a tool. It is annoying for a tool to talk, so it's natural for her to get mad when it starts to speak cynically. そうか。それは下り。影楼のごとき我が命だが、今消されるのは困る。一つ約束をしてしまったのでな。永遠になれるのだから命をかける価値はあるでしょ心配は無用だ元より閣僚の身与えられた役割を演じきってみせようだがいいのかなキャスター私も主人に忠実ではないが At that instant, assassin's body explodes. A thumping sound. The curse that was put onto his body upon summoning is exploded. The trees sway. What? Assassin is flung into the forest, his chest pierced by, from within by his own ribs. His figure is like a bloomed flower. <laughs> the fuck? あと5日を待たずに消し去るだけよ。What the fuck is wrong with you? 
女と精進は手に負えんというがお前はいささか行き過ぎだ The flashy servant gets up. The servant does not lose his elegance even if he shows his ribs or if his body is covered in blood. So, no, you're not made in Yamuna. Utskushi, Kaunga, Daina, she does all casta. Wakat, you. Oh, my no master, and you are subet and I meet in your conan no daro. Saber or Toraeta Kotomo. What as to you, Mombanga, you cotomo, Kakshi tosu. Yoi be done devanaika. 主人を思うその心意気あの男に通じるといいのだがアサシンあなた<笑>なにただの負け惜しみだどうあろうとお前には手を挙げられぬのだからこの程度のざれ言は許せよ門は守る何があろうと守り通そう I really want him just to like walk away だがそういうお前はどこに行く私の守りは信用できぬか当然でしょうあなたはただの保険よけどそれも終わりセイバーさえ手に入れればこんなひなびた場所を神殿にすることもないわふん<笑>人違いかとなると確かに私は用済みだがこのお山に勝る霊地があるとでもええ多少は劣るようだけど私にふさわしい場所があるわそれに遠からずそこには足を運ぶのですもの今すぐに行っても問題はないでしょう Assassin's expression which has been cool up until now clouds up Caster smiles as if she's satisfied. So, what is the story of the story of the story of the s t o This is true. No matter how much Castor's master Suzuki, so Soichiru、uh, stays silent, he would be forced to fight if the conditions are set so perfectly. But what is more certain is that there's a lot of fear. So, there's a lot of fear. So, there's a lot of fear. So, there's a lot of fear. Loud laughter pollutes the night. The Magus in purple expresses her victory. The knight with the long sword looks up at the sky. The time is near. No matter what the end may be, only five days remain. Even though the remaining time will not likely be used up, the swordsman that has lived through hell feels that the match will not be settled easily.、Uh, poor guy. I wish he was actually summoned to a, a good master. He needs it. Why am I back here? No. I want to sleep in her nice bed. And I, I fall. I can't even breathe properly. The wound on my shoulder is swelling up and it hurts just to breathe. I can't keep my consciousness. I'll fall asleep if I let my guard down. No, first of all, I'm not too sure if I'm conscious or not. And plus, the barrier's gone as well. It's really a big mistake to come back here. I don't know how I got home from that rooftop nor why I came home. My thoughts become vague. The only sure thing is my thumping heart. Tosaka told me not to involve myself because I'm powerless and I don't have a reason to fight anymore. But that's wrong. I knew more than anyone that I'm powerless. The reason to fight is something different. I can't let it become just a scar. Losing against others is inevitable. I'm used to being beat off and it's vexing, but I know I can't reach them no matter what I do. But that's only when my enemy is someone else. I can't lose against myself. There's no element that would make me lose if our powers are equal. 
To admit defeat against such an enemy is to declare that I'm wrong. <laughs> the wound distorts. Blood stains the bandage. <sighs> yeah, getting up probably wasn't the best idea. I grab it with my left hand and stare at the darkness, glare at the darkness. The memory from ten years ago, the words of the man who was my father. Even if I was wrong from the start, there's nothing wrong with the path I took. I wanted to be a superhero so that instant wouldn't just become a sad memory. A time where everyone would be happy and shed no tears. I have held that ideal for ten years. It doesn't matter how badly my head refuses to function. What needs to be done is determined from the start. I didn't fight because I became a master. I decided to fight because it's something I can do and I believed it's something I have to do. I finally remember the obvious. You probably should have told her this. <laughs> if I believe it is right, I will believe in this path until the very end. I won't stop and I won't let her fight by herself. That's why I will f sleep now. I won't let her call me a burden. I'll heal this wound up in one night. And when I wake up in the morning... And when I wake up in the morning... I'll catch up to her for sure and repay her for what she did that night. I, <laughs> I would too. I mean, I'd argue that taking a sword for her is basically paying out for her, but you know what? Sometimes... Oh my god, another interlude. Holy shit. Oh no. The stone room is illuminated by the morning sun. The light coming in from the ceiling pushes back the darkness. Every entrance and every window is sealed off, but even that cannot block out the sunlight. Even this, the place that should be covered in darkness benefits from the break of dawn. What? Wait, why is she in the chapel? Entrances and windows are ordinarily used to let things enter and leave. The cracks cannot be covered, and besides, if it is entirely closed off, it cannot fulfill its duty to be used as passage. If one wants to completely shut out light, there should not be any entrances. If one prefers darkness, one should go to an underground place without a way to return. In that regard, this underground temple is not perfect. Light exposes, all, light exposes all secrets without reservation. The hidden temple was easily, easily discovered and its master was easily eliminated as well. There are traces of blood on the floor. The original owner of this temple was killed by an intruder. The supervisor of the Holy Grail War, Kotamine Kire, was removed from the stage by casters. What? No. No. There's no way. Ah, oh, fuck. I really can't go to the chapel now. That battle happened a few hours ago. The underground re regained its silence. The new master of the church is standing in the darkness. But the winner scorns herself. Caster glares at the darkness with an irritated look. How do you lose? First of all, this temple is unpleasant. Neither the sanctuary nor the secret sanctuary hidden beneath it suit her taste. The intruding light is unpleasant, and the priest was killed, uh, and the priest she killed was unpleasant as well. And most importantly, the crucial objective has not been accomplished yet. She's shocked at how poorly things are going, and she even re considers reducing this whole place to ashes. <coughs> Fortunately, she refrains from such violence. It is not because she regained her composure, nor is it because of respect towards the church. She suppressed her emotion only because of this sound. Faint, periodic sounds. A woman's painful voice is like fine music to her. You got some weird fucking kinks. She forgets her troubles and enjoys the spectacle. <laughs> the groaning sound of pain came from a girl. Come, comes from a girl. Her murmur is very weak. The groans would inspire either compassion or sadistic pleasure in those who may hear them. It does not need to be said that she falls under the latter category. Sweat drips down her forehead. 
just watching the beautiful lips, the gasping in agony seems to bring heat to this cold room. Um, what? Uh, why? 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 Why is she in that? Why is she like that as well? I mean, come on, what the hell are you doing? And then back at the temple. The girl hangs only a bit able to breathe. As long as she opposes uh, the command spell, free will does not exist for Saber. We're still a magic so strong that it is visible torture that it is visible torture Saber's body. The command spell pressures her from the inside and casters magic tortures her from the outside. <laughs> well, I mean, casters magic shouldn't be too bad because she has that magical resistance. The problem is the command spell. And Madrian's a much higher level than she is. Saber's reasoning has almost disappeared. Only the last remnant, remnants of her pride hold her back. Neither the command spell nor caster's magic can take away that deep root. Therefore, the torture continues forever. Caster watches the process, how the girl desperately tries to hold her ground. It was Caster that dressed her in this white costume. It is not arousing with her armor, and in most of all, the armor does not suit her. What? Why? If she is an untainted saint, she should be in a pure white dress when she falls. This is just some weird shit. This is some weird shit over here. I, I'm not behind this. This is weird. <laughs> いくらあなたの意志が拒み続けても、サーバントとして作られたその体は別よ。あの、あの、I I'm really voting for the please stay as long as possible so I can hopefully get you back. <laughs> the voice protests painfully. Even though her reasoning is melted, Saber does not yield to Caster. As Caster says, she will endure this torture until the command spell fully controls her body. <laughs> I forgive her too. You are really getting a sick pleasure out of this. What? What? How? How? Okay. Okay. What? I don't know anymore. She looks at the girl's, uh, a girl with eyes filled with joy and hatred. And so, what the fuck? If Caster puts her mind to it, she could get Saber to surrender in an instant. Now, I like torturing her, though. What the fuck? Saber's freedom is lost from fighting one command spell. Then the result is obvious if Caver, say, if, if Caster uses a sec second command spell. Saber will become Caster's without the need for such torture. <laughs> But she will not do such an inelegant thing. Caster should take her time finishing her, since she is a lovely tool toy. So Stop. Oh my god. Her strongest foe is now as good as hers. Nothing can threaten her victory any longer. The location of the Holy Grail is a, a certain a, a concern, but that is only a matter of time for now. She enjoys the fall of the King of Knights with a smile as a reward for her plotting. But oh, hey, Master! An unemotional voice suddenly calls from behind her. <gasps> what the fuck? Are, what What are you doing? What the hell is this? She turns around immediately, above the temple. Someone slowly comes down the stairs that lead, out, lead outside. A tall, lean figure appears from the darkness. There is no sound of footsteps, nor is there any presence to be felt. The man comes down into the temple and shows no emotion, even after seeing the blood of the gro on the ground and the girl. Soichiro, 
Eh, that's just a regular Tuesday. Caster changes her attitude right away. Her expression changes from one filled with joy and irritation to that of a tense servant. Yeah, miss, I control my master completely. God, bend the knee. What the fuck are you doing? She talks such a big game, and she's nothing. The man, Kazuki Soichiru, does not change the tone of his voice. That flat voice is more terrifying than any threat. A voice fit without emotion is like a mirror. A guilty conscience. The voice is more fearful to those with greater guilt. I will say, a completely flat voice, a devoid of all emotion. Oh, it's yeah, that's how you break people down and really get them to freak out. It's really interesting how people react to it. One is questioned not by Kazuki, but by one's own mind. <laughs> Caster holds her hands on her chest and reports to Kazuki. He is not the one that he is not one to be that can be fooled. No, she cannot bear to tell a lie to this person. <laughs> I love how she talks such a big game, and it's nothing. She's nothing compared to him. He has such a, a chokehold on her. Like, he is just holding that leash. As much as she talks about, oh, he's useless. He, I just tell him what to do, all that stuff. It's funny to me. That's so interesting. その後、聖杯の器を手に入れるために教会を襲いました。聖杯の管理役である神父は仕留めましたが、Kazuki's words are not criticizing her, but Caster can only be ashamed of herself. She killed the priest who knew where the Holy Grail was, but she still does not have the Holy Grail. Furthermore, she has revealed her own actions, which should have been hidden from him. What else can she call it but a total failure? A long silence. After hearing Caster's declaration, Kazuki murmurs, I see. では、納得のいくまで調べるがいい。それまでは私もここに残ろう。お前一人では戦いに向かん。聖馬が手駒になるまで護衛は必要だろう。いえ、それには及びません。マスターに力を借りずとも手駒はありますし、聖杯の探索とてどれほどかかるか、それにここは危険です。流道寺に戻られた方
I'm curious if he's used like a command spell on her to be like completely obedient to her or like truthful to him. I'm sure, I'm, I'm not, I'm wondering. Because it's really interesting how much she changes. And I can't imagine that unless, there's a lot of different circumstances that could be a reason for it. I'm just, it's deciding which one's the most likely. Because like she could have feelings for him or he, she could just, you know, be under a command spell. You know, there's a lot of different things. She talks a big game, but actually really cares about her master or whatever. There's a lot of different things that could be. Like, it could be all a lie in a game to lure him into a false sense of security. It could be her true nature, and she's just been acting tough. I mean, there's a lot of different ways it could be. Uh, and that she, you know, touts herself up, but she's actually just a just really weak person. There's a lot of different scenarios when it could be, but I just need more information at this time. She's, uh, 